Well done, everyone. Hey, everyone. It's uh, me, Beard Beardless Pim here. Um, the main reason I don't have a beard right now is because um, I fucked something up this morning during my trimming my beard. Normally, I have a beard trimmer which I use to trim my beard, but I uh, seriously messed something up. I put the trim setting too high, so it was completely wonky and out of whack, like not symmetrical, so I got rid of it for now. It's not a big issue, it's the beard will be back in about a week or two anyway. But um, I wanted to make a video. Originally I wanted to make a video about safety protocols and some things I'm doing right now with my work. Like I'm studying a course for my work for, for fire safety system inspector. And um, I wanted to make a video about Chernobyl and how it didn't follow safety protocols and why people don't follow safety protocols. But honestly, that subject is too complicated to really do an unscripted video about. So I've decided that I'm probably going to script it at some point. Maybe today, maybe some other time. I don't know. I don't know yet. As you know, I do most of these videos as a hobby, so I don't really have the time or really something else. But I wanted to make a video anyway, since I'm currently in self-quarantine. Again, for the first, uh, for the second time in about a month. Yeah, um, I won't go into details why I'm in self quarantine since that will uh, embarrass some people and re reveal some personal details that, quite honestly, is no one's business. But yeah, needless to say, I will be in self quarantine for till Tuesday, and if I don't get symptoms of coronavirus before that then um, I should be fine but yeah that kind of sucks so I'm kind of annoyed by that okay, you can also have a slight headache because of it um, because of the stress um, but I, I was just doing my dishes just right now and I noticed something like something that I do and I think many people do with me is that I look at my behavior from the past like I look at things that happened in the past in my past like things that ha happened at the time and I think about what did I do at the time that I could have done better at the t now or how do I improve myself I see it as a form of self-improvement so I've been thinking about that and another thing I also look at is my own thought patterns, like the way I think, what I think, why I think. And in the past this has often caused problems, like uh, many problems. And when I, I, when, doing, when I was doing dishes right now, I was looking at my thought patterns and I was thinking, am I a narcissist? And I want to you and I want to explain why I think that or why I thought that and or why I asked that question. Maybe we can explore it together. Maybe you recognize it. Maybe you don't. Um, I don't like to see myself as a narcissist. I think many people are too egocentric nowadays. Well, I think I say nowadays, but I think they've always been egocentric, true to be told. And I think people don't. Many people are not empathic enough to really imagine what it's like to be the other person. And I think if more people did that, then maybe we would not have as much social problems as we have now. On many subjects. Now, why did I ask that question to myself? I will explain. Something I often do, more often than I would like to admit, and I do it a lot, is that I imagine a situation where I am in 
good friends with someone I don't know directly or am discussing things with someone I don't know or am in some kind of situation most ridiculous kind of situations like I've done this since I was a kid like when I was a kid I used to imagine myself in fantasy situations and to a certain extent I still do uh, like for example uh, back in my day Dragon Ball Z was very popular on television when I was a kid and so I used to imagine myself as a Dragon Ball Z character and interacting with Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, Gohan, all the characters, Krillin all the characters of that show. This I have never really stopped doing that. It's like the one consistent thing that has pretty pretty much aged with me. Like I have changed a lot, especially since I've started living on my own. In the like last, I would say ten years, is very drastically in the way I behave, the way I act, the way I interact with other people but I that is one of the things that has remained consistent of course the content of said fantasy scenarios has changed but um, it's not the same uh, but the, the, the concept is the same that's what I mean for example let's say I would watch a YouTube video of insert popular left-wing YouTube creator here I could name a few examples. I'm still, while I'm recording this, not sure I'm defensive I should. Because I, since I know, since I will post this where I know some of them might see it, I don't want them to get embarrassed. And uh, it made me think. Like, let's take, for example, Philosophy Tube, Oliver Thorne. Great guy, at least I love his work. I don't know how he is IRL. I would imagine him to be a friendly guy, but I often imagine me having discussions with him. He doesn't even know I exist, obviously, and I <laughs> and I would like to have discussions with him, and IRL, I mean, face to face. And uh, so I often imagine scenarios where that happens. And it makes me wonder, like, and I have that in many ways, but the one th in many way with many of these creators and other people, and I'm like, is that an egocentric way of thinking? Because it's all about me, <laughs> about me. When that's what I think about. It may, of course, it kind of makes sense since, well, I'm the only reference material I have, so I can't, I can't really look into the thoughts of someone else. So, I'm not really sure how, how or what this works. I'm very certain other people think the same way as I do about this, or have the same kind of fantasy scenarios in their heads, but this does make me wonder, are we inherently egocentric? I think in a way humans and probably other species are like like the problem is we only have each other we only have everyone has only themselves as reference material so whatever when they compare when they compare themselves with others they can only compare them with themselves like they cannot compare like theoretically they can compare to semi-related people to another but then again they can't really they don't know said people's deepest thoughts desires whatever intellect in interests whatever so they can't really they can't really judge that based on that so the only idea is the only reference material they have is themselves so they start imagining them in the in the scenario of a creator or where they are with a creator, or some some celebrity, whatever. And that makes me think. I think, in that regard, people are egocentric. Like, uh, like an egocentric in the sense that they, they look to themselves as an example or as reference material. And I don't mean egocentric in the sense that they are selfish. I think that is a distinction that must be made. Like, 
I don't like to think that I'm selfish. I am selfish in the sense that I have my own problems with other people or with societies in general that I would like to be fixed because that will benefit, benefit me more. But I also like to think that the way I want to fix society or fix certain aspects of society or fix certain systems, whatever, also benefits other people. Because many experiences are semi-universal among many people. For example, in my experience, ASD or autism, many people with autism are going to run into the same problems that I have. It's partly why I also make my videos, because I want to educate people and I want to let people experience how it feels to have autism, even though autism is not necessarily a universal experience. And see, this is where I run into issues, um, because now I start pondering, 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 and I get sidetracked. Cheers. This is water, by the way. Hmm? And it does make me wonder, like, is it bad for me, am I ethically or morally wrong to imagine myself in a scenario with someone I admire? Like, let's say, an Oliver Thorn. I'm gonna be completely honest here. And I know that this video will basically be me fanboying over Ollie, over Philosophy Tube. And... <sighs> Damn it! I'm going to sound like such a fucking creep and weirdo. Oh, Bim, why are you why are you making this video? Oh, god damn it, my man crush. Whatever. Whatever. I'm not going to speculate about uh, Oliver Oli's personal life. He doesn't like that, and I know that because I read his Twitter, which is also sounds very creepy. Maybe I should just cut this entire part from the video. But anyway, let's get back to the subject. To the subject. Is it morally wrong to imagine these kinds of scenarios? Part of me says yes, because I don't really have the right to force people, even in my own thought patterns and scenarios. However, on the other hand, I can't really force myself not to imagine these scenarios, at least not easily, not without causing severe stress and mental damage to myself. And that's not really what I want. So you have a paradox here. You have this paradox here, like, part of me wants to talk about the... wants to imagine this and talk to these people, but part of me also doesn't want to respect their autonomy and their... their... What do you call it? Autonomy and their private life and not interfere. So you have and not and I don't want to deify them because you know deify deification is pretty bad. So you have this paradox here, these two opposing ideas that conflict with each other. Which is honestly kind of a headache inducing. As a matter of fact, I am having I'm having kind of a headache right now. But it makes me wonder, like, why do people imagine this? Why do people compare themselves to others? Like, this is something that in my experience has caused more stress than any help. Like, I can imagine comparing yourself to others because you have, you need a certain standard to live up to. Um, you need a certain thing to live up to. A certain standard, you see someone creating cool stuff, and you win, you also want to create cool stuff. So you follow the example. Or, you know, as the saying goes, imitation is the greatest form of flattery. I hope you people don't mind if I don't go for the obvious left tube, bread tube lights. Simply because I don't own those, because simply, quite simply I don't really have money or space for those kind of lights. Plus I think they're... Um, there, plus I think that they don't really add anything. I am planning on getting better lighting once I move, but that will be something different. And besides, even if I get better lighting, I can always just put a filter for it to change the color if I want. Ooh, RGB LEDs lights. That's a good idea. <laughs> anyway. Um, anyway. 
Um, what do you think? Is it wrong to imagine these scenarios? Is it... Am I a bad person? Am I a narcissist? Am I... An e am I... Egocentric? Let me know. Please, let me know. Um, this is... I don't know... I might make more of these videos in the future. These unscripted type of videos. I've already made one. I currently have them as filler. But I want to make them... Maybe I want to give them a name like Pim Ponders About... Insert subject here. So yeah. I know... I, either way, I have a nuclear video. Or well... A video about work safety coming up some point and about incidents that happen. It's gonna be about Chernobyl, mostly because I find the entire subject fascinating. Because I'm a creep, because I'm a creep that likes uh, that likes reading the history of the Soviet Union. Thankfully, though, I'm not a tanky because fuck Stalin, among other people. But anyway, um, I hope I will. You will like this video, this very incoherent video, and. I'll see you all next time. Bye.